Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. is here. Okay, any minute now, Mr. L will come out and we'll have our morning chase. Hi. Yeah. Good morning, Birdie. Good morning, little bunny rabbit. Good, you're up. I'm waiting for my morning cat bath. Oh yeah, that's the spot. You know, if I didn't know any better, I would think you really were a cat. I didn't say mm -hmm. stop. Well, well, well. Look who's ready for our morning paper chase. Hmm, we're not done, Sam. You still gotta do the inside of my ears. Sometimes I think dogs have more fun. <laughs> You're a good boy. <laughs> See, dogs have more fun. Thirsty. Washington, I've been thinking. Ah, oh, be careful. I don't want you to hurt yourself. Bad things happen when you do that. <laughs> Somehow it doesn't seem quite fair that when we chose costumes, you got to be the dog. You get to have all the fun. Sam, being a cat is just as great as being a dog. Everyone knows that. Right, then you won't mind switching with me. You can be the cat for a while and I'll be the dog. <laughs> Sam, being a dog is no longer just a role for me. It's a whole thing. We can't just suddenly switch like like that. Huh? That's weird. Where's Sam? I'm always the first one up. Oh no! Oh no! This is bad! Yeah? Arf! Arf! Huh? Sam! What are you doing? You're gonna get us what all- What incredibly clever dog has my morning paper? Mm -hmm. It's all over! We're done for! Arf! 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 Uh... <laughs> Wait! Sam is you? It's an opposite day already? No, not for another two months. But yeah, Sam's decided to be me. Oh, how fun! Yeah. Wait, what? No, not fun. Bad. Very bad. <laughs> oh no, game over. Any second now, the elves will realize that he's not me. Hmm. So far, it doesn't seem like they've noticed anything different. Nothing at all. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> Sam, this is crazy. You don't know what you're doing. Trust me, being a cat is cake compared to being a dog. Hmm. Nice game, boy. <laughs> arf, arf, arf. I know what Washington said. He says so many things. True, but it would be super fun to switch costumes. We can't. Yes, let's do it. Wash, now that you're the other cat around here besides me, you're gonna have to act like one. Huh? Yeah, right. I've been sitting here patiently waiting for my morning cat bath, and we're way behind schedule. Ah, 
No way. Nuh -uh. Nope, not gonna happen. Never, ever. How strange. <laughs> Weird. Sam, what's wrong, huh? You always clean Vic this time of day. Are you sick? Do you need the vet? <laughs> I didn't say you could stop. Yeah. <laughs> 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 oh my Washington. Ha. Go on, boy. Go ahead and play with your friends. Go on. Whoa, I met the dog folk. So this is what it feels like. Hey there, Washington. Hey, guys. How's it going? Everything cool? Smells like him. Must be him. Wash, so, uh, how's that Mrs. L? Getting any home cooking table scraps these days? You, oh, yes. She makes the most delicious little pastas and dessert that makes your heart sing. Sometimes she makes the cutest little cookies that make you wanna... Uh, I mean, yeah, you know, it's good. It's good. What about you, dogs? Ah, uh, you know, chasing cats all around town. You know, the usual. Ugh, you're definitely not a very good cat, Washington. Do it the same way Sam does it, like a cat. <laughs> Gross, being a cat is a lot harder than it looks. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh -oh. Don't look now, Wash, but uh, here comes your little friend, Trouble. Washington, this is for you. Let that be a lesson to you. So much drama when you're a dog. How exciting! Nope, we're not done napping. You're gonna have to act like a cat if you want the elves to believe you. That's it! Enough! I can't stand it! I need to run around! Do something instead of napping all the time! Fetch a ball, go on a walk! Cats don't do that. Well, I do! And I can't go another day cleaning you! Yeah, well, I agree. You're pretty terrible at it. <laughs> yeah! I can use my natural energy and remarkable imagination to show Sam what an awesome time I'm having being a cat. He'll see how much fun it is and will want to switch back! Easy! That's your big plan? It's all I got. Here's what I'm gonna do. You guys are on set, you're gonna find <laughs> <laughs> That's my wall wall. <laughs> I love playing with my cat toys. It's so much fun, better than any dog game. Wow, I love this cat scratching post. It's the best thing ever. I don't want to be a dog ever again. Being a cat is the best. The best. <laughs> oh no, Sam! The girls are in danger. You gotta save them. <clears throat> You're a dog. That's what dogs do. Go! Save them! <clears throat> I told you, being a dog is a high-pressure role. Those cats have to stay here and act scared. Hurry, they need you.
much better. A little stretched out, but it's good to be back in my regular costume. <laughs> what about the girls? Oh, yeah, that. <laughs> Rescued? <Ooh>. Rescued. <laughs> that was way too close. <laughs> I never want to be a dog again. It's too hard having to be you, Washington. Yeah, this fits me much better. Yo, by the way, I met a girl at the dog park. I think she meant to give you this. Oh, <laughs> oh Wash, you're such a dog. Thanks, Vic. Hey, no worries. I had to get Sam back. You were a terrible cat, and I gotta have my daily cat bath in the morning. <laughs> Come on, I wasn't that bad. Pretty bad. Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Um, what are you doing? I want to bet with a squirrel. That sandwich is mine, but I gotta get to it. Yeah, um, have you thought about climbing like an actual real cat? Oh, of course. That was my plan B. Cat stuck in a tree? Now that's video gold! Oh, wait, is that Sam? Real cat. Real cat. Go, Sam! Go! Uh, no. no, Sam! No! <laughs> Sammy, you certainly earned that sandwich. And you gave me some priceless footage here. Bon appetit! <laughs> Sam, we weren't laughing at you, we were laughing at the way you felt. It's different. Do it! Sam, hey! There you are! <sighs> Great! I guess you already heard that I fell out of a tree. Mm -hmm. <sighs> no, seriously! You're a natural born comedian! Oh, yeah. <clears throat> oh, yeah! But, Vincent, how did you. Hi, Sam. I just wanted to say congratulations on your success. I admit I'm surprised. Yeah, thanks? Wait! What is going to. <laughs> Good. You ask him now, you. Uh, Sam, can you sign an autograph for us? <laughs> we can probably sell it. We're never selling it. Yeah, sure, if you want. What should I write? Uh, can you put two nugget with all my love? No, oh. for Fluffy and Nugget. But mostly for Fluffy. <sighs> girls, girls, how about this? <laughs> Someone, please tell me what's up with Sam. Uh, what? You don't know? Uh, and G Washington. Oh, and quick, Sam's in the computer. What? I, I'm not in the computer. I'm, I'm right here. <laughs> I get it. Mr. L shared that video of you online. 
It appears that tumble you took is a big hit, Sam. Wow! My brother, a star! A star? I'm a star! Wow! Well, for today, anyway. It must be from one of my GoofTube fans. Yeah? <laughs> <laughs> Gee, I don't care for one. Thanks. I love being a star. <laughs> and all you did was fall out of a tree. People have such weird taste. For once, we agree. <laughs> <laughs> No, I was just bringing these... Uh, sorry, Sam is swamped. Lots of fan mail, you understand. He's booked up until at least tomorrow. <sighs> well, then, can you hold these until then? Complicated. I bet you hold it like this. If Sam can become a star with a stunt that stupid, just imagine what a triple jointed fox like me can do. You shoot, I perform. I don't know if I want to get involved in your wild animal games. Hmm, really? But I think of you as a director type, bossy. Hmm? Well, I am very visual. I suppose this would be easy enough. When do we start? So here's the deal. I rollerblade onto the trampoline, get shot into the air, and land on the mattress. You've told me this three times. I got it. Take one. Cut! Perfection. My costume. Who's going to notice? Come on, we need to take two. <sighs> Actors. Wow, all those clicks, it's a success. People love me. <laughs> it's still increasing. <laughs> well, well, who's the star now? Yeah, well, if you want my opinion, it's mostly thanks to the director's talent. Way to go, Wash. Hey, can we play too? Oh, yeah, we want to make a film. <laughs> You're too little to pull off something that sophisticated. We'll talk in five years. Aww. <laughs> huh? I just need to borrow this for a second, thanks. Vincent? Yes, sir? You've just been promoted to director. You're going to film me. I've always wanted to work in film. Hmm? <laughs> <laughs> Trust me, it will be hilarious. I guess so. In three. Two, one, rolling! Meow! Meow! Yes. Huh, so he wants to play dirty. Well, now it's four! Washington! Washington! Boy, am I ever gonna teach that little rat a thing or two about filmmaking. Washington! 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 
when you hit the steel girder the first time. <laughs> right, so it's a tie. Why don't we just say we're both stars, huh? That's fine with me. <laughs> I think I'm gonna take a nap. Stardom is very exhausting. There's no way we're gonna let those two losers win. I know we can outdo them. I've got tons of awesome ideas, watch. Sam? You can't do this to me. We've got to make the third part of our trilogy. <laughs> what? <laughs> what was that? Oh, look. That's our video. <laughs> you really are funny when you sleep. What? That's the internet blockbuster of the year? Oh, wait. There's not even any action. <sighs> I should have kept all the takes of Wash without his costume. It could have been huge. Gotta run. I need to seriously think about a career move. Filmmaking may not just be the right choice for me. <laughs> Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough, so we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Not really. No, our first date. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry to disturb. We were just admiring your mangy fur. How do you do it? A special shampoo? Or maybe an ugly brush? <laughs> 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 No reason to panic. I know. All we have to do is order new costumes. Yeah. What? How? On the magic screen with all the little buttons. The elves order stuff on it all the time. You mean a computer? Yeah, that's what I said. Who's the expert, huh? Now all we have to do is order. Error. Please try again. <laughs> error. 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 Error.
Your order will be delivered in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. It's here! Hey! Take care of this, would you, Vic? Watch where you... <laughs> <laughs> Fine. I'll just go ahead and take care of these. Do we... We messed up the order. I've never seen anything like this in the forest. They're awesome! <laughs> we do look pretty cool, don't we? You sure this doesn't make me look too fat? Yeah! <clears throat> What kind of animals are you anyway? The wild. Uh, what if they're wild animals? <laughs> Ridiculous! Just think about it. If these were wild animals, we would have known them in the forest. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, that's good. Mr. Computer Expert messed up his order. Ha! I can reorder the right ones in five seconds. No problemo. Hey guys, oh. we're home. Quick! We gotta put the old costumes back on. Where are they? Vic? You said take care of them, so I took care of them. They're in the trash. What? Oh, yeah, that was so much fun, wasn't it? Vic, you gotta get them back. From the dumpster? Vic, please! There's no way I'm going to dirty my fur twice in the same day. If washed... <laughs> Where are the others? Don't worry, honey. You know them. They can't be far. You two stay here, okay? Sam and I are going to get our costumes. <laughs> huh? Hmm? <laughs> <laughs> no! What's gotten into? <laughs> It's the garbage truck! <laughs> What's going on? It seems like everyone's scared of us! Of us? Do I really look scary in this thing? Scary? Nah, more like ridiculous. <sighs> Discover Stash Paste new product by Criminus Lab. With Stash Paste by Criminus Lab, forget about your old life. The new one will be hairy and fairy. Oh, wow, that looks amazing. I absolutely <laughs> need one. Ooh, a documentary on exotic animals living in far off lands? I'm in. These far-flung corners of the globe are inhabited by strange animals. This nocturnal mammal who lives in the savannas of Africa it's never me. Yikes! How ugly is that thing? I can't even look at it. The aardvark returns to its burrow before sunrise and before the lion has uttered his first roars of the day. <laughs> I really think it's us everyone's afraid of. Of course not. They're scared of the driver. Meanwhile, thousands of kilometers from the Savannah Plains, the Cobra Moth flutters carefree through oh, the jungle. Hey, that's me. This African butterfly is about to commit a fatal error. It is going to brush its large wings against the whiskers of a Bengal tiger. And that's Sam about to attack you. <laughs> The police! We're safe! Hang on, Sam! They're gonna arrest him! Like every day, the Babarusas are playing in the mud. 
breaking news brought to you by Stash Pace, a Kermanus product. We interrupt this program to bring you the highly coincidental news that exotic animals from far off lands have invaded our city. Huh? It's Wash and Sam! The question on everyone's mind at this hour, can these stunning beasts be tamed and turned into household pets? What do the experts have to say? And no. But that means Sam and Wash might be sent far, far away. <gasps> we gotta do something! Your turn, coward! Hey, over here! Oh! The vet? What's he doing here? Maybe he's gonna stop the truck with that. <laughs> Wash, I don't think he's trying to stop the truck. <laughs> I don't always agree with you, but for once, I think you're right. Quick, we're heading for the botanical garden. Our team. <laughs> That's the unmistakable roar of a tiger. They can't be far. I bet Sam and Wash are in there. You stay here. I'll go. <laughs> Come on, you coward. It's up to you, Vladimir. Guys! Susie! Susie. Are you nuts? The vet will send us back to the forest. The forest? With those costumes, he's gonna send you to the jungle. Not fun for a boy and a fox. Quick, Eugenie's waiting for us. <laughs> a fox and a wild boar? <laughs> the things you find in botanical gardens these days. Wait a sec, those are wild animals. Shouldn't we return them to the forest? Are you kidding? We're looking for a lion and a tiger. That's a million times more exciting. Are you sure you're okay, Vladimir? It can be pretty dangerous. <laughs> Our costumes aren't in here. We're done for. Game over. <laughs> Sammy! While you guys were in the garden distracting them, I got to the truck and grabbed our disguises. All part of your plan. Right, Washington? Ah. Yeah. <laughs> hey there, guys. Did, did you see that hangry lion and that vicious tiger? Chill, guys. We scared them away. Huh? <laughs> Do you smell this? It smells like garbage. We still have bear spots on our costumes. Oh. Rats, we can't order new costumes now. Mr. L's on his computer. Hmm? <laughs> Hello, it's me, the bearded woman. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that face. Where are the pets? We're going to scare them. What in the world is that? The stash paste. The stash what? The stash paste. Uh -huh. They put it everywhere on my toys, on the pillows, and even on me. They like it a lot. Come on, let's go. Be generous. Hey, they're in the kitchen. Hello, furry. Meow. Oh. Yeah. Arf, arf. Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. 
want to stay here? We'll have to keep our secret. saw me. That was a close call. Yeah. Oh, diary. I hope you had a nice nap. Because I have a lot of secrets to put in you. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I can't tell Fluffy everything. Like how Washington drives me wild. Flying that high? She likes to peek into other birds' nests. She gets decorating tips. Ah, uh, girls. <laughs> Ouch! Huh? It better be a joke book. Well, it's got a bunch of funny pictures. Let me see. Oh. Oh. You were supposed to keep an eye on Washington and Sam. Quick, go make sure they haven't destroyed our catnip. <laughs> Wait! Hey? Wait, Washington! Uh, oh, hey, Nugget. I saw you earlier in the yard. <laughs> huh? You saw me earlier in the... Mm -hmm. Hold on. What do you mean? Don't play innocent with me. You know exactly what I'm talking about. <laughs> Nugget, you're not gonna tell anyone, are you? Oh, yes. Of course. I want the entire world to know. <laughs> no, please. You can't do that. Really? Oh, yeah, of course, you're right. Because I'm a cat and you're a... Please, Nugget, this has to remain just between us. A secret, our little secret. I'll do whatever you want. Oh, all I really want is to hang out with you, Washington. No, oh, uh, okay, yeah, cool. A friend with me. <laughs> so, you've been having fun with your new buddy Nugget, huh? While I was all alone, talking about my favorite shows with myself. <laughs> <laughs> 
No, Sam, you don't understand. I understand she's your fancy new friend and I'm just a wild boar from the woods. No, no, I had no choice. No choice. <laughs> she knows our little secret. <laughs> what? And if I don't do what she wants, she's going to tell everyone I'm a fox. And if that happens, we're all doomed. Yeah, but I don't want to leave, TV. Hey, Sam, what about the elves? Them too. Goodbye, elves. I love you, TV. Sam, just chill. Go play with Eugenie and Susie and pretend like you don't know a thing. Okay. I mean it. They'll get all freaked out. Washington. <laughs> you coming? <sighs> Gotta go. Oh, diary! I have so much to say today! Huh? Where is it? Diary! Where are you? Oh, diary! How could you have gotten lost? What are you looking at? A picture book. A hilarious picture book. <laughs> oh, that's pretty funny. The fat cat and that weird looking dog with the hearts all around him. <laughs> it almost looks like Washington. And that cat. She looks familiar too. Yeah. My head hurts. Too much thinking. I gotta find Wash. <laughs> Nugget, why are you crying? It's nothing I've done, right? I lost my diary! Your what? <laughs> my diary! It's where I write all my secrets. <laughs> huh? All your secrets? Does that mean our little secret? Yes, especially our little secret. <laughs> <gasps> We gotta find it! But I've looked everywhere. What am I gonna do? Without my diary, it's gonna be impossible not to tell Fluffy! No, no! No! No, no! <laughs> I'm sorry, Washington. I'm very expressive. The vet said so. Can't you just express yourself silently? I would, Washington. But a lot of times my mouth doesn't even check with me before I say stuff. I can't help myself. I'm terrible at keeping secrets from her without it. If I can't, I might as well tell the world! No, 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 don't do that. We don't want the world to find out. Listen, I guess maybe you just go ahead and tell Fluffy everything. Don't you mean we? Oh, right, we. I knew you'd understand. <laughs> <laughs> No, oh, yeah. Hey, Wash. Sam, I don't have a second to lose. We have to go tell her sister our little secret. What? Why? Because she lost her diary. Diary? The book where she writes all her secrets. She says without it, she has to express herself yeah. by blabbing about me to Fluffy. Otherwise, she'll tell the whole world. Yeah. Diary? Nugget? Ooh! <laughs> that diary thing you're reading, whose is it? Nuggets, of course. Yeah? Yeah, it's her diary. That's why it's so funny. Nugget's diary? I need that diary right now! Yeah, right. Check back next week. Give it to me! I need it! <gasps> no way! I'm not done yet! I want to see how it ends! Sorry, but it'll end bad for all of us if I don't get this diary back! Nugget's diary? Nothing about... Nothing about my costume in here? So that means... She never saw you out of your costume! <laughs> oh! I saw 
saw you earlier in the yard. <laughs> The only thing she saw was you, waving to her. At least she thought you were waving to her. Phew. Hello, Ashton. You coming? We gotta do what we gotta do. Time to wake her up and spill the beans. Wait, uh... Nugget, it's always gonna be complicated between us. Let's be realistic. You're a cat. Meow, meow. I'm a dog. Woof, woof. Your sister is always going to be an obstacle between us. <laughs> I know, it's tragic, but also tragically romantic. And no matter what happens, we'll always have our little secret. <sighs> oh, Washington, you drive me. Wild. <laughs> Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Cat can resist it. You should probably get the hang of it then, huh? That, my friend, is called a cat treat. <laughs> Sam, less weird bear, more cat. <laughs> Better, now stretch! Good! Stay in the moment. Think feline. Meow! Hey, you two! Bug off! Tatnam is for real cats! I'm a real cat. Don't! The point is, I should be able to have one thing in this house that's mine. Is that too much to ask? Hi, you guys. Hi, guys. Hi, what? <laughs> it's our birthday. Again? We're having a party Tuesday night. Our lady goes to bingo on Tuesday. We'd love to come. Uh, sorry, only Vic made the guest list. Congratulations, Vic! We don't even like each other. True, but we need more indoor pets with proper training for this party. It's going to be 50% fancier this year. And we're having cheat cake. Party entertaining. Okay, I'll come to your fet or whatever, but they come too. We're a package deal. Huh? <laughs> <Yay>! <laughs> oh, Sam, we're about to taste frosting. I hope it's purple. Um, no way are you coming near our cake. Oh, okay, bye. Yeah. Come on, you guys. Away. Let them come. More presents, Fluff. Fine. But you'll all be kicked out before kick. And if you make a mess, act like dorks, or bring an unawesome present. <gasps> no sweat, kitten mittens. I'm going to prep them myself. Get set to be charmed. Yay! <laughs> Yay! You've 
been attending these fancy pet parties for years. You're really going to share your inside tips with us? Goop hug! <laughs> Thank you, Vic! We're going to have shit cake! Do we get presents, too? What about ice cream? Saddle! <gasps> you have much to learn before sheet cake. Ready? And lift! Yeah. Well done, Eugenie. Okay, good. Eugenie, Suze, how about you two go find the perfect present for Nugs and Fluff? We'd love to! Yes, please! <laughs> Master, come on! <laughs> Winner gets extra birthday cake! Yeah. <laughs> Victoria! You okay? You know what? None of those gifts were snazzy enough for Nugget and Fluffy. I know, but where are we going to find Pierre Class? <sighs> Can you afford it? Um, how about one tiny second? <laughs> Here, six cans of tuna. In oil. Change it. Give it! What do you think, Sam? Yes, a minute. It's almost done. Ta -da! Okay, so you want to play. You two are now the perfect guests. Yay! Yes! Fluffy, yeah. I'm leaving for bingo. Don't I'll be home soon. It's party time. Even more boring than last year. And that already was quite a challenge. I hope they love it. Well, it sounds perfect. Uh. <laughs> For you, neighbors. Oh, we'll take that. Get back. Box, which smells like uh, sidewalk. No, it's a throne, a beautiful throne. Sure, it could use a paint job. Take it away. Get it out of here. <laughs> we hate our present. <laughs> what about the cake? The girls, quick, go find a new present. What? <laughs> Got this. You just enjoy. This is your day. Are we not, gentlemen? Ah! Are you guys nuts? Our lady will be home soon. But it 
your birthday. It's customary. Fix it. Troublemakers, three crazed cats. Come on, let's get them. Where are they? Did they go get coffee? Oh, who cares? Run! Ah. Sam, let's go! No! Joke to spice up your boring party. <gasps> you owe us a present. Well, good night, you two. Good night. These carriers are breaking my arms. You two are going on a diet. Sorry about the fuss. Fighting with the neighbors, ending up in the pound. What has gotten into you, Vic? Oh, come on, dear. Let's go to bed. My party days are officially over. Good night, Sam. Good night, Vic. Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Life, Sam. No dirt, no bugs, no annoying bear. Back in the forest, my only entertainment was picking ticks off my butt. Hello, Hello everyone. everyone! Coming up on Bling My Day House, a doghouse with its own home office. Wow, we could do better than that. How'd you like your very own blinged doghouse, Wash? Huh, boy? Doghouse? <laughs> How come dogs get all the cool stuff? What? Dog houses are the worst. Me, I'll take the people house with AC and snacks. Hmm, Wash doesn't seem excited. Not like the dogs on TV. Strange. Hmm. Hello! Oh, uh, whoa, whoa! <laughs> ah, 
Honey, I think Wash wants a doghouse duplex for him and his best bud, <laughs> Sam. Yeah? Uh, ooh, you heard the dog. Oh, uh, oh, uh, oh, honey, I married the best pet owner in the whole world. I'm going to make you your favorite rhubarb pie. Mm? Oh, <laughs> yum. <laughs> oh, Wash. You have no idea what it's like to have to pretend to like that disgusting rhubarb pie. Lucky you're a dog. Huh? Come on, boy. Aren't you excited? Time to move in yet? Not exactly. Keep it simple. That's my motto. Weird. I feel like I'm being watched. That's what I thought. But it's just Vic. I heard something in that tree. Huh. Who is it? <laughs> this is gonna sound crazy, but I swear I smelled Mitch the bear. <laughs> I would know the smell of his salmon breath anywhere. Mitch? But he lives in the forest. How would he know where to find us? Don't know. All I know is if it's Mitch, it's not good. He wants something. Uh, it's just Vic. She loves to stare. It's one of her main talents. <laughs> I don't know. Look at your new homeboys. Pretty great, huh? Yeah. <laughs> what about you, Wash? Go on, boy. <laughs> Tell you what, let's go get your toys to furnish your pad. Come on, Sam. Here, Wash. Everything looks normal. We'll circle back once more. That was close. <laughs> Ooh. Wow, is that a cave? I got a treat this morning and I saved it for you. It's called a housewarming gift. No, oh, you're genie. Can I have just one little bite? Sure, in fact, we should eat that before we go back out there. Just in case. Wash, you heard you, Genie. It's to warm our house. Here's a little something from me. Old newspaper? You can read it and pee on it. It's like two gifts in one. <laughs> I'm sure it's all perfectly safe. Sure it is. <sighs> yep. Nothing here. Just my imagination. I can't believe I was acting so crazy. Hi, you guys. Ah! Mitch, what are you doing here? Hiding from those lights. They think they can get me. <laughs> but I'm smarter than them. Boys, I got a possible robbery in progress. Copy that. No bears here. I repeat, no bear. We're on our way. Well, good for you. But, you know, you can't stay here, right? Yep, but neither can you. Living with humans, it's against the laws. Laws? What laws? The laws of nature. Anyway, I thought we were friends. We are friends. Long distance friends. Mm -hmm. We live here and you live way over there. Cool, huh? Not cool. I'm taking you guys home to the woods. We're gonna be best next door neighbor friends. <laughs> What are these? Mm. Whoa! You guys eat those all the time? Yep, after a walk, after a pee. Nope, those are only for special occasions. Very special occasions. This is a special occasion. I came all the way from the forest. So if you don't get me some more, we're leaving right now. No problem, pal. I'll be right back with extra special treats. <laughs> ah! What are you doing back <gasps> so soon? Mitch! It's Mitch! He's in the doghouse. He's come to take us back to the woods. What was that? I hope it wasn't your rhubarb pie exploding, because that would be a tragedy. I'd better investigate. Hey, Washington. What's the matter, boy? <laughs> 
You don't like the doghouse I poured all my heart and soul into building for you? <laughs> More dog food? Well, okay. Just don't tell the missus. Hmm? Pie's almost done. Yummy. Now I know why you like it here so much. Go get me more. <laughs> more! And bring me one of these, but softer and bigger. <laughs> Keep the elves busy. We can't risk them coming out while Mitch is here. <laughs> 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 what are you dweebs up to here? Um, nothing. Let me see. She's a house cat. She, um, doesn't like to be held. Welcome to my house, house cat. <laughs> <laughs> oh, looks like the pie's done. Uh, uh, yum, I can taste it already. It just needs to cool a little. Only five more minutes. <laughs> Can't wait. It smells good. Watch that! Give me that! You want the pie? I can't do that. That's human food. Humans love pie. Well, guess what? I have a feeling I love pie, too. OK, OK. Pie's on the way. <laughs> Hey, get over here! Give me that! Give him the pie wash! Come on, Washington! He's getting really mad! <laughs> I want dessert! <laughs> My pie! Where did it go? Oh, no! Not the pie! <laughs> Honey, are you okay? <laughs> Give me my pie! <laughs> you want your pie? Go get it! Freeze, fur bag! Uh oh. <laughs> Sorry about your doghouse, boy. You'll just have to make do with our house. And here's a little something to make it cozier. My famous rhubarb pie. <sighs> Lucky us. Pie! Is that you? I smell you, pie! And now that I love you, I'll be back! <laughs> Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Flip, flip. Alakazam, Alakazir! 
What's Elmi um, doing? Um, oh, he's playing yeah. fancy fetch. It's where you get dressed up and play fetch with a black and white stick. Amazing Alfie makes flowers appear. <coughs> Nuts. Why isn't this working? Oh, wrong sleeve. Yes, haha. <laughs> I did it. It's amazing. I don't think this is fetch. Where did those flowers come from? Obviously, they came from the garden he's hiding in his arm. <laughs> A good day to remind me what it's like to be a boar. Know what I mean, Susie? Sure do. Sometimes I just fly around to remind me what it's like to be a bird. But you're a bird disguised as a bird. When do you not feel like a bird? Eugenie, stop! Holes are dangerous. You don't know what's down there. Fine. What are you guys doing? Watching Alfie. He's doing a weird fetch dance with his garden arm. <laughs> What is he doing with that bunny? I can't see! Eugenie, stop! You could get hurt! Or worse, really hurt! What is it with you today, Sam? Why aren't you letting me do anything? I'm just looking out for you. As your big brother, it's my job to do that. When I remember to. Well, I don't need you to. I'm a big boar, and I can take care of myself. Sam Alakazir! Whoa! Where did the bunny go? Clearly, the bunny went to the market to get hors d'oeuvres. Huh, you don't know the rules of fancy fetch at all. Wash, stop pretending you know what's happening. He's doing a magic trick. Humans watch them for fun. Ah, sounds like fun! Not if it means being close to Alfie. One time, he spit bubblegum in my fur. Uh? He's gross and sticky and a menace to animals everywhere. <sighs> You've been through so much! <laughs> oh no! Bunny, I'm sorry! I don't know my own strength! Why? <laughs> Told you, he's a lunatic. Alfie! What happened? I I lost my bunny because I'm super strong and now all my friends will think I'm a bad magician, which means I'll never get invited to birthday parties, which means I'll never have cake again! Cake! <laughs> hey, <laughs> is this your bunny? Yep, her name's Eugenie, remember? Could I borrow her? Huh? <gasps> well, uh, Alfie, I... Please, please, please! It's show and tell at my school and I need a bunny for my magic trick. What am I supposed to do? Make a rock disappear? No one cares about rocks, Mr. Elf. <laughs> rocks are stupid! Okay, okay. You can borrow Eugenie if you promise to take very good care of her. I'll do better than that. I'll take very, 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 very good care of her. We're going to have the best day ever. We gotta rescue her! Who's with me? Me! Aren't you coming, Vic? As much as I long to be a hero, someone's gotta stay behind in case Eugenie comes home. You're so smart and selfless! We're so close, I can almost taste it! <laughs> It tastes like dirty bus. Hurry up, guys! No time to sleep! We're coming for you, Eugenie! Eugenie can go! No, she can't! They're tossing her around! Yo! My baby sister's in danger! She could get hurt or air sick or swallow a fly! Well, those kids can find her zipper and know she's not a real bunny! You didn't see what happened to the last bunny? So many dangers! Oh, aren't you the cutest? I could hug you all day. So fluffy. <laughs> if Sam could see me now, he'd know I could take care of myself. <laughs> you guys should really stop running into things with your faces. Oh, so cute! <laughs> wow, your buddy's funny! I wish I had one instead of a stupid goldfish. Hugh Genie, you're cooler than a T-Rex and a lion combined. We're gonna kick butt at the show and tell. I heard there was a project today. Everybody in? Are. Great. <laughs> <laughs> 
We're almost there, buddy. Except for this locked fence. And humans everywhere. <laughs> what do you want to do before school starts? Let's play pirates. Arr, Eugenie. Let's dig for treasure. Arr. Huh? Is she digging? She knows how I feel about home. It's gonna be okay, Sam. It's not like... Ah! Oh no! Is she yeah. in a tree? <gasps> you need to be on the lookout for scoundrels who are after me treasure! This is awesome! Hey, is that Sam and Wash? That's not safe! Eugenie, stop jumping! Screaming doesn't help, Sam. Susie, can you send a message? <laughs> Susie, check it out! I'm in the tree! No way! Me too! Oh, and I have a message from Sam. He says, get down from this tree this instant, young lady. Why is he being so overprotective? I'm fine. I don't have a scratch on me. You can tell him I say no. I'm having a blast. Besides, Alfie's nice. Mm, that's a lot to remember, but I'll try. Elfie must have given Eugenie a head injury because that's crazy talk. That's the last straw. We've got to find a way in without being seen. I have an idea. <laughs> Shh! Hey, Bush. Quiet, Sam. Bushes don't talk. You're going to blow our cover. What if someone hears you? They'd have super hearing because no one's here. Where is everyone? Yay! Welcome to Show and Tell, everyone. First up is Billy. Hello, everyone. This is my pet, Ant. Oh, oh no, where'd he go? No one move. He has a family. <laughs> All right, Billy. We'll keep an eye out for your tiny pet, Ant. Oh, okay. Next up is a... Uh, the Amazing Alfie! I am the Amazing Alfie! <laughs> For my first trick, I'm gonna make my bunny <laughs> magically disappear! <laughs> Alakazam! Alakazat! Eugenie, disappear in this hat! Huh? <laughs> now we're we gonna get Eugenie now! Oh no! This is what happened to the last bunny right before it landed in the street. Wait, where did she go? Where did she go? Is this part of the show? This is better than TV. Elsie brought those bushes to life. I did? Oh, that's great. My magic powers are stronger than I knew. Kids, inside now. We have to get to Alfie. He's the only one who can bring Eugenie back. Sam! Huh? Sam! <laughs> Eugenie, you didn't disappear. Of course not, silly. I've just been hanging out in here. Check it out. <laughs> Pretty sweet, huh? Alfie made it. I was worried sick about you. And you were lounging? You don't need to be worried. I'm big enough to handle things on my own. I know I'm adorable, but I'm not a baby. She's right, Sam. Eugenie was on her own all day, and she's still in one piece. I guess you're right. I just worry because I care. You may not be a baby, but you'll always be my little sister. And you'll always be my baby. <gasps> and I'll always be a bird. Sorry, I thought we were all saying what we are. I'll try to be less overprotective. <laughs> That's all I ever want. <laughs> Today. Sorry, I don't want to disturb your touching reconciliation, but what are we doing with Alfie? The panic will spread. We'll be accused of black magic. That's right, and you said he was nice. However, <laughs> oh man, that's not fair. Look what you did.
did you ruin show and tell? Turn those bushes back. I'm sorry, but I don't know how. Huh? Mm -hmm. Alakazam, Alakazup! Magic, make those bushes stop! were like poof, and the kids were like ah, but I saved the day. Watch, Alakazam, Alakazee, magic help me move that tree. Huh? Wow, Alfie, you're quite the magician. You just need to practice. I can't believe I woke up for this. Huh? The tree's alive. It really is magic. That's it. Here we are. <laughs> you see? I told you it was useful to dig holes. <laughs> Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. This stupid costume is killing me. Who knew wearing two layers of fur could be so hot? This must be what it's like to be a big potato. I just want to rub my bare belly on a blanket of fresh moss under the shade of a pine tree. Oh, the whining. That's the price you pay for the fake life. You have no idea how much hard work it takes to fool everybody. You think it's so marvelous in this costume? This costume is marvelous! <laughs> <laughs> okay, gang, we're off to the neighborhood carnival. If we can learn to walk in this thing. We'll be back late! Left you extra kibble! Ouch! Sorry, hon. Whoop. Friends, thanks to the elves spending the day in costume, we get to spend this very hot day out of costume. Yippee! Dead, dead. We're bad enough with your costumes on, but au natural, it's like bring on the barbarians. Yes! We should air these babies out. To the right, dear. No, that way. Oh, wait a sec. Stop! Oh, hello, Alvarez. Nice costume there, Living Stones. Why, thanks, Mr. Snubinski. The only drawback is how hot it gets inside. Oh. That's why you're gushing? I thought you were dressed up as Niagara Falls! <laughs> <laughs> I think we'll go home and change. Wash! Wash! Disaster City! Our costumes are gone! Sam, you're just not used to running around in your birthday suit. All this freedom is making you nervous. Somebody stole our costume? Our huh? costume? <laughs> hey, what are you all looking at me for? Ha <laughs> ha, so hilarious. Now give us our costumes back, please. Uh, I don't have them. But even if I did, you were sick of your stupid costumes anyway, weren't you? Whatever. With my super nose, I'll find them in no time. Seeing what they smell like, that should be a cinch. I'm getting a whiff over here. <laughs> yeah! Alfie and Gracie stole our costumes. Are we allowed to panic now? No, focus. We have to get our costumes back, otherwise it's bye-bye good life and a hello gloomy forest. Oh no! How can I help? Return you to the forest, that is. Mm -hmm. There! Oh 
that's left are Eugenie and Susie's costumes. Ooh. They must have gone to the carnival in ours. Ours were too small. Or they smell too good. My wonderful costume. No! What are we going to do? Well, we can't hang outside Stark naked. I know that. <laughs> Back so soon. Victoria! <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it's got so uncomfortable, I can't wait! Ah! Oh, yes, it's so hot! Oh, now, isn't it more comfortable being a Roman than a horse? You can say that again. And we can see where we're going, too. Okay, we got ourselves a breather, but we've got to get our costumes back before the elves come home. But how? We can't go out like this. You're right. But fortunately, we have the perfect costume. Stay close to me. We can't let anyone see us. Yeah, well, I can't see anything at all. We're going to a real carnival with rides and everything. This is going to be awesome. Well, if this is any indication, it's definitely going to be memorable. Look! Like I said. Sorry, those were your ears. We thought you were us. Uh, you know what? Never mind. Hey, Wash! Hey, Wash! Not now, Eugenie. No time for games. Bummer, because I thought we were playing tag with Gracie and Alfie. Say what? Well, yeah, they went that way. Okay, gotta be super discreet. The best thing for us is to split up. Sam and I will go this way. Victoria, you go that way with Susie and Eugenie. What? No way! I only tagged along so I could watch you make fools of yourselves. I have no intention of babysitting. <sighs> so I guess we're spending the rest of the afternoon together. Is that the deal? Oh, yes! <sighs> Come on! There's tons of rides we want to try out! <laughs> <sighs> Oh, it's a furnace in here. Phew, life was more comfortable as a cat. Don't sweat it. We'll have our old costumes back in no time. And then we'll never, ever take them off again. Hey, hey, why don't you look where you're going? Living stones? Back so soon? I thought you were going to change costumes. Nothing in your size. <laughs> what do we do? I don't know. Wait. Say what? Hey, are you all right in there? You seem a bit out of sorts there, Livingstone. Maybe you should go back home. <laughs> so, dude, anything exciting happened while we were gone? But, but, you, the horse. You seem a bit out of sorts there, Snubinsky. Maybe it's the heat. Why don't you go home? Huh? There's something I can't understand. Yeah! <laughs> can't let them out of our sight.
Those kids have worn me out. And I can't go on. Those girls have worn me out. Oh. We won this. It's officially the best day of my life. Let's never leave. Have fun. Me and Watch will have to go back to the forest now that we've lost Alfie, Gracie, and our costumes. Susie, do a flyby and see if you can't spot Alfie and Gracie from up there. Oh, is this a game? Exactly, that's what it is, like hide and seek. We've got to catch them before the elves get home. Susie, you guide us. Aren't you guys getting bored with all this running? This time, there's no letting them get away. <gasps> what is that thing? It's funny. It looks like a dinosaur. Oh, I can't take any more of this. I promise I will never ever let you out of my sight again. <laughs> oh, poor guys. You had to stay home alone all day. Must have been boring. And that's why we brought you a little surprise. <laughs> Since you couldn't come to the carnival, we brought the carnival home to you. Ta-da! Costumes! Now we'll all be able to party together. <laughs> Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret.
And then there's everyone's favorite event, the pet race. And through the Joker's Tunnel, a surprise obstacle awaits on the other side. How exciting! Oh, no. And the winner of the race will receive a... Year's Supply of Pet Food! A year's Supply? You? <laughs> Please, they can't be serious. You know, I didn't really want to race. Until now. Well, I think it's time for me to fade out. That kind of partying stuff, that's really not my cup of tea. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh, Vicky! Oh, no! <laughs> Alfie! <laughs> I see you, wild ones. You're coming back with me into the forest where you belong. Come <laughs>
Doesn't seem right. <laughs> huh? Where did the race track go? Yeah! Are you nuts? Yeah! Huh? Where are you going? I got you! <laughs> Sam, you okay? Mm -hmm. I know you're still here, and I can smell each and every one of you. Where's the rest of the gang? You're all staying here in the wild, like real animals, where you belong. But we're too fancy for life in the wild. <laughs> before he wakes up. Huh? Wait! Where's Gracie and Alfie? Mm -hmm. And Vic! Who cares? You supply a pet food, remember? Ta-ta! Wow, what a jerk! <laughs> <laughs> Wait for me! I'll go and check! I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Huh? Hello. 
Oh, they're in danger. We gotta do something. Absolutely. You're gonna help them. <laughs> you sure? <laughs> was too close. Thanks, Vic. I never doubted you for a second. Not even for a second? Not for a single second. Vicky! Kitty! Vicky Kitty! <laughs> Vicky Kitty! Hey, Vic! Wait for me! <laughs> That's ridiculous. We didn't come from over there. We came from over there. Everybody knows that cats have an excellent sense of direction. Please, you're an alley cat. As if you know which way to go, you can't even decide how to run for your life. Guys, don't fight. I can smell civilization in that direction. No way, it came from back that way. Nuh-uh, it was that way. Everybody shush it. You shush it. We gotta dig our way out, I'm telling you. We need to start digging our way out of here. You heard me, dig. I say we just run, anyway, as long as we're not here. Hello, lovely. I knew you'd come back. How about we ditch these dweebs and run off to Paris? <laughs> Everybody stick together and follow me! Washington! I'm coming for you! Oh, I wish we could fly! Oh! I can't fly! Looks like a, uh, uh, oh, 
Don't mind if I do. Hello, dolphins. Gotcha! Don't fall in the water! It's not over yet, Alvarez. I'm right behind you. And that's right where you'll stay. <laughs> oh, poor guy. Big dogs are such oafs. <laughs> Guys, we gotta run our feet forward at the same time in the same direction. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> uh -uh -uh. Not so fast, my little rodent friend. That year's supply of pet food is mine. Ciao, ciao! <laughs> Wow, 
This sausage is definitely the worst to ever walk the earth. <laughs> you did it, boy! We won! Uh, not exactly. The rules clearly state. The first animal to cross the finish line wins. This year's supply of pet food goes to... The goldfish! You did it! know who the real winner is. Us. You guys are the best. Yeah? Arf, arf. Woof, arf. <laughs> woof, woof. <laughs> woof, woof. <laughs> 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 Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Concerning their whereabouts, please contact your local precinct. Ha! Super mask! Super mask! Super mask! Super, super mask! Super mask! Super mask! <laughs> A fox always lands on his paws. Mask is super, super awesome. <laughs> Not half as awesome as my super claw. Yeah. Uh oh. <laughs> now then, oh. it's time for my favorite show called My Third Nut. <laughs> Have a bandage. How are we gonna watch our show now? I really wanted to see this one too. I've only seen it seven times. My friends, would Supermask ever back down from the enemy? Never. Never. And would Supermask back down from a little cat claw? Never. Uh, maybe. Great. Here's our mission. We must face off with the diabolical Doctor Victorious and regain control of the TV. Yeah! Don't make a sound. We're gonna take the enemy by surprise. <laughs> Sam! Sorry, missions make me hungry. <gasps> hey, why that's a super <laughs> mask. Ooh, super? Super? <gasps> Super mask! <gasps> <gasps> Yep, and with these masks, no one will ever guess we're wild animals. Totally! <laughs> Change of mission, my friends. Real superheroes have much more important things to do than worry about Dr. Victorious. Yeah. Yes. And what we're gonna do is pick out on pizza. Uh, I 
was thinking more along the lines of saving the world, like Super Mask. Hmm? Yeah, okay. Beats after. <laughs> yeah. A mission for me! the masked box. <laughs> My balloon. <laughs> this is a mission for Captain Bradford. Oh, oh, oh. Who turned off all the lights? Oh, it was me. <laughs> I hit them behind these garbage cans. Edgar, look at what I just found. We're not looking for cat and dog costumes, knucklehead. We're looking for our masks. Oh, the ah. police! Quick, hide! Move, big butt! I can't breathe. Hurry up! Oh, sorry. Wash, Sam, is that huh? you? <laughs> yeah. Woof, woof. Leo. There's a little surprise waiting for you in the kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> Suck in your gut, fat cat. <laughs> yum, yum. And who gets uh, some scrumptious kibble wibble? My two little munchkins do. <laughs> Enjoy your meal, sweeties! Wow! Something worse than prison food! This kid was actually pretty good! We got work to do! Eat later! Feel the wind on your fur! Oh, the joy of being costume free! Stop! Don't make a move, you crooks! <laughs> Stay where you are, Buster! We've got you this time! Uh, change your plans, guys. Right for your life! Ah! So, the masks we found, they belong to the burglars. Which is why the police thought we were them. Bingo! So all we have to do is put our costumes back on. Problem solved. Oh, no! The only costumes still here are Eugenie and Susie's. <laughs> The real burglars, disguised as us? Burgling our fake identities. And even worse, burgling our house. And way worse than that, stealing our TV. No more super masks. <laughs> hey, ah! time for my post-nap snack. And way worse than that, if we don't get our costumes back, no more house. <laughs> Smells like roast chicken. Help! Thieves! Hey, Vic! It's us! What proof? 
serves it to you. Can't you watch what you're doing, you bunch of barbarians? Uh, what happened to your costumes? Let me show you. <gasps> All set? Did we forget anything? Well, I could go for some more kibble. Eh? <laughs> Burglars! We've got to warn the Living Stones right now! No! First, we have to get our costumes back. <laughs> Super Claws to the rescue! Did you hear that, honey? Mission accomplished. It's coming from the kitchen. Huh? You? Our costumes, mm. quick! Hey! You're the burglars they were talking about on the news! Bingo! I'm going to call the police. As soon as I charge my phone. You're not as fat as you look on TV. Thank, Thank you. you. Breaking news. Infamous burglars Edgar and Marty were caught today all thanks to a family of very clever pets. Super pets, you might say. Superheroes. And that calls for a real reward. Roast chicken for all. Well, <laughs> You're not coming, Wash? Phew. Being a superhero is exhausting. I gotta rest. <sighs> More for me. And that is how the Masked Fox once again took control of the TV. <laughs> I have defeated you once more, Dr. Victorious. Super Mask! Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the Living Stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. they can. Oh, Sam, what's happened to my foxy instincts? I've gone soft in the suburbs. Too many snacks and nasty hey, TV. You watch a lot of TV. Hello, furry huh? children. Who wants yum-yums? Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> ah! Sam! <laughs> Sam, your tail, it's missing. <laughs> Who's hungry? We gotta do something. <laughs> Honey, are you seeing this? Yes, dear. <laughs> wow. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> my tail, my beautiful fat tail. Calm down. You still have your whiskers and your paws. But what happens if the living stone see? Well. Worst case scenario, we get returned to the wild and eat dirt for the next 40 years. Huh? <gasps> yeah! Yeah! Relax, I'm kidding. Okay, 
They can't have gone far. This just requires a little detective work. <laughs> Never mind. <clears throat> Eugenie, Susie, start with the couch cushions. Research shows that's where 72% of missing household objects hide. Okay, that's where I would hide. Sam, Washington, uh, what does Sam's tail look like again? Okay. Ooh. Is it a hot dog? A dead flower? Uh, I know, it's a U-turn. It's a tail. Sam's tail, long, blue, <laughs> covered with fur. Ah, sure, we'll get it. Sorry, Victoria. <laughs> What's happened? Wow! Guess what, dear? I finally found the piano! Hey, Victoria, have you by any chance seen Sam's tail? Hmm? Mm, not at all. Come on, how about helping us look? Hmm, let me think. That sounds boring. Oh. No. Well, let's go for it, Sam! <laughs> Sam! Oops. I saw it first. Give it. I saw it first. You give it. You're fatter. I'm older. Not get it, Fluffy? No. Hey, at least we found it. Uh, Sam. <laughs> Sam, wake up, man. But what if they figure out what it is? Well, then we're finished. Over. Our cover is blown, which is why we have to get it back. No, you've gone soft. Lost your touch, fallen off your game. Okay, Sam. I've still got a few slick tricks up this first sleeve. <laughs> because the sun is shining and it's a brand old day. And we're all so happy here. Back to the girls. They have to be less noisy than this. Oh. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay, step one of Operation Tail. Infiltrate enemy territory. But before we get started, safety first. Hop on my back, Sam. Like a backpack? Are you sure? Yes. This is what ninjas do. What, this? You really like it? Oh, yeah. Can I try it on? <laughs> Fluffy said not to give it to a soul. But Fluffy's not here, is she? She's eating. I could tie it around your neck. That's not giving it to a soul. I would love that. Oh, You could do this. <laughs> or this. <laughs> or this. <laughs> or this. Glad I thought of the trampoline. <laughs> okay, still not quite back to my old self. Nap time. <sighs> well, where is it? Sorry, Sam, it was a no-go. They really liked that tail. I was afraid of that, so I found a backup plan. Yeah, you know, with the stripes. <laughs> I don't think so. 
You sure? Totally. So unless you want to sleep on a pine cone pillow again, we're going to have to outsmart those cats. But Washington, you said you ah! got... Stop listening to me so much. It's somebody's bedtime. Okay, wait for me outside. <laughs> <laughs> A giant talking sock! Ah! Wake me up! Sam, it's me. I am waking you up. It's time for Operation Tail Rescue, the sequel. Okay, jump on my back. You sure? Just go. Whoa! Figure us out. Yeah, Rob's in his couch. Didn't you tell them they could stop looking? I thought you did. Girls, I'm trying to sleep here and you're wasting your time. The tail's not here, it flew out the window. You sure? Of course I am. I did it. What? Why did you do that? My sincere apologies, but it's a cat thing. I just can't fight it. If something fluffy goes flying by, I just gotta swipe at it. Oh, we cats are just like that. Wow, you speak swell. You mean all cats? Oh, yes. Mm. Mm. Sorry, Eugenie. Hey, my tail. I'll explain later. Right now, clean up this room. Victoria, you're gonna help us. Uh, really? Mm-hmm. Are you sure of your plan? Absolutely. When Fluff and Nug see this, they won't be able to resist it, leaving us free access to your missing appendage. You sure? Totally. Now let's get your tail back. Do I have to climb on your back? Nope. We'll uh, take the stairs. Huh? Oh? Wow. Okay, let's go. You sure? Don't worry. <laughs> I'm a lean, mean ninja machine. Victoria! Okay, they need me. It's abundantly clear to everyone that I've got my edge back. Oh. We did it, Washington. We did it. I can't believe it. Uh, I mean, I knew we could. Dumb cats. Hello. Yeah. I helped too. You're welcome. Sam, you're my best friend. And all that matters is that I'm the one who got your tail back. <laughs> oh. Wait! Oh, Washington. Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. You girls want to learn to bake cookies? Maybe I'll give you a little cookie dough for a treat. Oh. have to 
compete with Washington. Some fun tonight! Huh? We are? Oh, yes, we are! <laughs> It'll be fun for the whole family! You'll see! <laughs> okay, come on, tell me what it is! It's something no cat can resist! It's a laser pen! And not just any laser pen, it's the Phantom Red 3000! Let the games begin! <laughs> Come on, don't catch it! Whoops, I'm too fast for you! <laughs> what is that thing she's chasing? I don't know, but whatever it is, she really wants it. We meet again, Red Dot, but this time you will be mine! <laughs> Sam, what's wrong? <laughs> what kind of cat doesn't want to catch the dot? Did you hear that, Sam? You gotta catch that dot! But I don't care about the dot. Well, you better fake it. Fake it? <laughs> Sam, if you don't get out there and catch that dot, Mr. L is going to find out you're not really a cat. <clears throat> catch the dot. Catch the dot. Go on, champ. Catch the dot. Catch the dot. Catch the dot. Huh? I'll catch you, red dot. <laughs> Sam. I've never seen a cat with such horrible aim! <laughs> what? Stand in my way, you clumsy boar! <laughs> I'm suddenly married to a big kid. He's going crazy with that toy. <laughs> Get it, Sam! Get it! By any means necessary! Out of my way! There are only winners in this family! Win, win, win! Dud! Get it, Sam! If you love this comfy life, you'll catch that dot! Red dot! Red dot! Come on, Sam, I'm with you! Come on, Sammy, you're the best! Come on, Sam! Red dot! Red dot! Must catch the red dot! <laughs> Sam, you're the clumsiest cat ever! Hmm. <laughs> 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 red dot, red dot, you must catch the red dot at all costs, at all costs. If I didn't know any better, I'd say he isn't faking it anymore. At all costs, at all costs. Red dot, red dot. Red dot, red dot, red dot. <laughs>
<laughs> Red dot. <sighs> you can do it, champ. That dot is yours. Don't give up now. You're so close. Now listen to me. Carve into those turns when the dot takes those corners. Now, don't let Vic intimidate you. Just get right up there in front of her. Even if her claws do hurt a little. Oh yeah, and can you try not to whiz by Eugenie and Susie so much? They're pretty dizzy. Red Dot must catch the Red Dot. You know you're never gonna get it, right? Dot. Wait, what? Red dot. How do you know that? Because, hello, no cat has ever caught the Red Dot before. Huh? The cat who finally does catch the Red Dot will become the enlightened feline leader. Hmm. But that is pretty much definitely no way going to be Sam. No offense, Sam, but you are definitely not a cat. And since I'm the only cat here, that means you're going to lose. Oh. <laughs> Catch the dot! Catch the dot at all costs! Catch the dot! <laughs> Can't catch the. <laughs> I think I need a timeout. Good idea. <laughs> red dot, get the red dot. <laughs> Come on, get it, Sam. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Get it, Vic. <laughs> oh, boy. This has to end. I gotta talk to Sam. Uh, Sam, listen, buddy. We gotta talk. Uh, I think Vic's right. You're never gonna catch that dot. So, you should stop now. Catch the dot. Catch the dot. Sam? Catch the dot. Catch the dot. Tell him, Vic. Tell him. Red dot, 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 red dot. That stupid red dot has turned this entire household upside down. Stupid red dot, making everyone crazy, destroying everything. Stupid dot, stupid dot that cannot be caught. Wait a minute.
Cook Kids, Mrs. <laughs> L's Cupcakes! Oh, so pretty! But could this be... Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. This is just what I needed. A little chill time in the park. <laughs> I like to chill on the couch, but then I'm a cat. We don't really like the park or other animals, do we, Vic? <sighs> what? <laughs> come on, boy, come on. Let's play fetch. Oh, no, not this game again. I don't get it. What's the point? I know. There's not even treats. Come on, Wash! Let's go, boy! <laughs> as soon as we get back, I'm burying all the furry green balls where no one can find them ever again. Go get it, Wash! Go on, fetch! <laughs> Watch it, Washington! That's my ball! <laughs> hey! <laughs> Alvarez! <laughs> I can see you, Washington. I can see all of you. And you're all coming back to the wild with me, where you belong. <laughs> fetch, wash, fetch! <sighs> fetch, wash, fetch, fetch, fetch. Good boy, Washington. Good boy. Arf, arf. As always, Alvarez, you are perfection. Woof, woof. Woof, woof. Alvarez is simply the best. Oh, but my Washington can... Alvarez brings that ball back no matter what. Uh, 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 no matter what. You get back here! I can't make Mr. L look bad in front of Mr. Snobinski and Alvarez. I just can't. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Where are you, you stupid fuzzy ball? Oh, tough stuff, Livingstone. Looks like your dog lost the ball. Not good, not good. Fetch the ball, Washington, fetch! Come on, Wash! 
Game over, boy! <sighs> Game over. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. L seems really embarrassed. I found your ball wash, and now you have to come get it from me. <laughs> Ooh, it's the pretty little house cat. She has to come too. Silly little ball. <laughs> 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 You're fun. Yeah. Come on, Sam. Help me get that ball back. But I'm a cat. I'm supposed to relax. <laughs> okay. Who can we help? What do we do? <laughs> Sorry, Bashamel, that old boy. Go over there and try and cheer him up. <laughs> and Vic. You. Ooh, I know what I can do. Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I saw it land over in this area, but I don't see it. Well, maybe it bounced further back. After it landed and rolled up the hill, turned around that corner with the big trees, and fell down a hole where it came out by a river, and ran downstream where it was discovered by little green men from outer space. Ha ha, very funny. What is? Uh, never mind. What the huh? Mitch? Come on, we gotta get that ball back. But be careful, we can't let him see us or he'll take us back into the wild. <laughs> Are you trying to take my ball? Uh, well, technically, that's our ball. No! Yeah. You <laughs> can't have it! It's my ball! Mine! My ball! Mine! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Because I'm a cat. Phew, I think we lost him. Where are you guys? That's my ball. Mine. Give it back. <laughs> Come on, Sam. Let's go cheer up Mr. L. Surprise! Uh oh. Ball! <coughs> 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 
Dutch. Go to Hobie. Go go to it. Aha. Um, you can keep her. Yeah. We'll take the ball. What? Are you serious? Washington? What are you saying? You heard me. I mean, she never wants to play with us, and she never really wants to help us either, so yeah. Bye, baby. Enjoy life in the wild. Arf, arf, arf. Washington? Washington? Wash, good boy. You always bring that ball back, no matter what. <laughs> Alvarez, get ready, boy. Oh! Oh! Yeah! I got it! I got it! I got it! <laughs> no, go away! It's my ball! My ball! You weren't really gonna leave me in the woods with Mitch, were you? Of course not. It was all part of my plan. I knew he couldn't resist the ball. I just needed a second to make it happen. Hmm. Oh, and I didn't really mean what I said. Though it's all true, but I didn't mean it. <gasps> my ball! I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Also included in your training kit, this beautiful dog whistle that only dogs can hear. <laughs> Guaranteed to make your dog sit up and pay attention. That's amazing. I need one for my wash. Huh, Wash? What do you think? Psst. Wash, do the dog. <laughs> <laughs> Good boy, Washington! Another wasted nap. Thank you, Washington. Welcome back to the news, everyone, and for our final story of the evening. Tonight is a very special night for all you stargazers out there. At 9.46 p.m., a special full moon, the one astronomers are calling the Red Fox Moon because of its brilliant red glow. <laughs> It happens only once every 50 years, and it's going to be a major event. Uh, beware the were-fox. Enjoy the red fox moon, everyone. Were-fox? What does that even mean? Oh, boy. Let's have a red fox moon party. <laughs> oh! <laughs> 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 I'm gonna get the moon food. Here comes the moon fire. Here comes the moon food. I'm gonna get some great shots of the moon for my website. The website that only I follow? <laughs> Can you believe it, Wash? We're gonna see a red Hoo moon tonight. Hope we don't see any were foxes. <laughs> huh. 
were fox can someone please explain oh yeah you've never heard of a were fox it's like a werewolf except it's not as cute huh. soon washington you'll turn into an ugly howling drooling biting scratching uncontrollable wild beast Come on, guys. You don't actually <laughs> believe that. There's no such thing as a... Ooh! Ooh, 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 ooh. Ah! ooh. <laughs> <laughs> what timing. I can't believe my luck. See? It's happening already. And the moon isn't even really red yet. Hope everyone is having a good time tonight waiting for the red moon. Yes! Good. Now, does everyone have their sausages on the grill? Ooh, come on! <gasps> Let's get the sausages. What do you yeah. say? We'll be right back! Sausages! You gonna watch me like that all night? No. Maybe. Yes. <sighs> Sam, listen to me. Nothing is gonna happen. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Sam. You know me. We grew up together. We're like brothers. <laughs> You're drooling. <laughs> A little bit too salty. Huh? <laughs> Drooling check. Now, scratchy time. Hi, guys. <laughs> hey, party people. We're only a short bit away from the big event. Let's keep spinning those moon tunes. Where foxes are scary. <laughs> <sighs> Sam, enough. I am not going to turn into some wild, scary, biting, and scratching beast. Come on! Seriously, I told you everything is fine. Nothing is going to happen. It's happening! A crazed, itchy, scratching beast! No, 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 Sam. Nothing is happening. I was just suddenly itchy. Let the howling begin. Ow! <laughs> Good evening, ma'am. Meow. And cool outfit, by the way. You like to bark? You're going to scream. Spirit Washington? <laughs> Looks like someone here is getting in touch with their inner werefox, huh, boy? <laughs> oh, my friends can't be wrong. We're drawing even closer to the Red Fox Moon Party, people. It's not long now. Oh. Oh. From where we are, the is turning more and more red every second. <laughs> Just look at yourself. You're a crazy twitching mess. It's happening, Vic. I'm trying not to, but I can't. Vic, you gotta hide me and keep me away from everyone before I turn. Oh, yes. Yes, we have to hide it's you. It's almost that time. 
Oh boy, I can't wait! Hey, where's Washington? We can't do this without man's best friend. Too late. Come here, buddy. <laughs> ah! Come on! You don't want to miss it. Oops, Take sorry, Vic. from the red box moon, everyone. Ten. Sorry again. Eight, seven, <laughs> six, <laughs> five, hide your cat. Because Wait, what? Hide your coming. cat? That means it's weapon time. Three, two, one. Put on your... Uh-oh, I forget I'm a... Get back here, werefox! You leave my pets alone! Didn't you? And in our final story of the night, we've got some interesting pictures from a Red Fox moon party last night where a real life Were Fox was spotted. Check these out. Those are my pictures on TV. <coughs> Are they saying I'm an idiot? <laughs> 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 